successful years of the Jews in the Ottoman state. The world has been the scene of many massacres and countless acts of genocide since mankind appeared on earth. Even Habib, the son of the first human, Adam, was a victim of a murder committed by his brother Kabir, for no just reason. Since then, the world has witnessed all manner of cruelty from wanton aggression to horrific holocausts. Without having to make a large investigation, we can remember that Stalin killed over 40 million people in former Russia. Hitler killed thousands of civilians during the Second World War. The Indians in America were killed by the first European invaders of the continent, and countless aborigines in Australia were murdered. All these brutalities may make us think that the strong and powerful always try to dominate and treat unjustly the less powerful. The fact is, however, that some societies have displayed great mercy and tolerance to the people under their rule regardless of their belief and race. Let us first look at the lives of the Jews during the Byzantines. Jews were well treated in Byzantium. The people of Byzantium did not like the Jews for religious reasons. They regarded them as damned by God since they denied the words of God and allegedly killed Jesus. They thus subjugated the Jews to restriction and persecution. Byzantine Jews were nominally free to follow their own faith. But the Byzantine Emperor excluded Jews from rights of full citizenship and restricted the locations of their settlement and synagogues, as well as their rights to engage in trade and professions. Soon afterwards, during the reign of Emperor Morse, all synagogues were changed into churches and the Jews were ordered to be forcibly converted to Christianity. The situation became even worse for the Jews as the Byzantine Empire declined. The collapse of Byzantium was a fortunate event for the Jews under its dominion. Thousands of Jews fled from Byzantine persecution to Sajic protection. In the following century, Ottoman Turks established their principality in the northwestern Anatolia. Sultan Suleiman, the Magnificent, extended the Ottoman rule across North Africa almost to the Atlantic and controlled much of Caucasia. In complete contrast to their situation under the Byzantines, Jews entering the Ottoman dominions were allowed to practice whatever profession they wished, to engage in trade and commerce without restriction and to possess landed property and buildings in town and country. After Sultan Mehmed II conquered Istanbul in 1453, he allowed Jews to settle in Istanbul and carry out their commerce. From the start, Sultan Mehmed II encouraged the immigration of Jews from Europe, even more than the Jews already living in the expanding Ottoman Empire itself. The most significant example of tolerance Ottomans displayed for the minorities, especially the Jews, is that they opened their land to those who were expelled from Portugal and Spain. The Ottoman Jews did indeed live in great relief and comfort. They were allowed to follow their religious requirements and build their own synagogues as well as being free to deal in commerce. There is no evidence that shows Jews were forced to change religion. However, a considerable number of them willingly converted to Islam. All people of the book were allowed to preserve their religions and recognize as religiously based communities. They paid a special toll tax called Haraj or Zizje. The poor, the sick, and the clergy were exempt. All minorities were exempt from military service and they were admitted the right to maintain their own forms of government within their communities. While they lived in great comfort and prosperity, there were some limitations. For example, they could not marry a Muslim woman or bear arms. Compared to the active persecutions to which Jews were subjugated in the Christian lands of Europe, the world of Islam was indeed paradise for them. We can learn from the tolerant attitude shown by the Ottomans towards the Jewish minority that coexistence in peace is possible through observation of divine principles.